I decided to start my new video with visiting one amazing museum in Moscow. Now you are now in one of the most famous museums here in Moscow and all Russia, Pushkin Museum of Fine Arts. And it's so beautiful here. I've been there when I was a kid, so I decided to take you with me and to visit this place again because it's really worth it. A little bit about prices. To enter this museum, you need to pay 400 rubles if you're adult and 200 if you're a student. Also, if you're under 18, you can go for free. The Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts is a museum complex that has one of the largest world art collections from ancient Egypt and Greece to our days. It's open in 1912, so it has more than 100 years already, and today the holdings of the museum contains around 700,000 artworks. Even though the most famous museum and gallery here in Moscow is Tretikov Gallery, but I think most locals prefer to go to Pushkin Museum, and personally I think I also prefer this museum. They're so scared, the statue is really so scared. Nowadays, the Pushkin Museum is one of the most important cultural centers of Russia, which is visited by more than 1 million people per year. And it has a lot of sculptures and paintings. Personally, I really love sculptures. For me, they are so impressive and you can find hundreds of them in this museum. By the way, I should mention that in this museum now you can find contemporary Russian and Western art, but in this video I decided to show you more ancient things. Little bit about the rules to enter the museum, actually you need a mask, but I totally forgot mine, and anyway I could enter it. Also, there is a certain percent of people that can go now to the museums, everything in the time, so you just can't go if there are too many people. So I think it's for the best as I talked about museum space that I showed you in one of my previous videos. And also now they put the machine to clean the air, but I also think it's a great idea. When visiting this museum, I advise you to pay special attention to the ceilings because they are different in each room and undoubtedly look impressive. And because of COVID-19, today you can see quite a lot of funny pictures there talking about security rules. The fact that I forgot my mask, it's completely fail, but anyway, I'm so happy that they let me in. And yes, it's a beautiful, it's totally advised to visit it if you have a choice between Tretikov Gallery and this museum. Personally, I would choose this one, but in Tretikov Gallery, it's also really beautiful and there are a lot of really famous Russian paintings, so it's up to you. I really advise you to visit both of them. And now we are going to Gorky Park, and from Gorky Park, I want to go to Varabyov Gory, it's a combining park. I understood that I now walk through it and every time that I want to show you Gorky Park it's just a few seconds and then I'm leaving to another place so now I decided to spend like a few hours just walk around and to show you how it looks like. I heard these musicians already, I think, five minutes before coming to this place. So talented, they got a big group of people. Oh my god, really enjoyed staying there and listening. Now you and I enter in the Gorky Park. It's not the main entrance, the main one is located a little bit to the left, but I often show this in my videos, so I decided to enter from this side near the river. 
Gorky Park is one of the biggest and most popular in the city and was founded in 1928. And here you can see the plan of my walk for today. Here I am already in the Gorky Park and now there are going to be some concerts, so a bit of reconstruction. But here I want to explain you why I didn't record this park so much. Because I just think there are more beautiful places here in Moscow, but still I want to show you this. Because it's super famous for tourists. And for me, Bedenha Park is pretty, as I told you in one previous videos of mine. And one subscriber told me that, uh, that it seems that Gorky Park it's more for tourists while wedding high it's more for locals i totally not, i totally don't agree with him because i think uh gorky park it's more for locals because people are spending time here wedding high located not exactly in the city center so i think it would be more interesting for tourists because it's a huge um historical part of moscow and there's so much information about soviet union and everything so yeah i think it's more interesting but anyway let's see how it would be now in the recent years, the park has changed for the better thanks to the renovation and now it's a very green place where you can find the main flowers, fountains, cafes and sport grounds. It's so completely different from winter because here it's an ice skating. All these roads during the winter, it's the biggest ice skating in Moscow. By the way, this should be a museum. So this is how this museum looks. A little bit the entrance. What's crazy, by the way, they give me mask for free. But I'm not going now to the, this museum because I've already been there. And in this video, I already show you one. So I will see this place next time. But it was really interesting when I was there. Probably many of you will say, Dari, but it's beautiful. This park, it's beautiful. It is. It's really beautiful. But for me, I've been there so many times and I don't see anything special because in Wedenha, I've also been there even more times because I live next to this place. But it's really beautiful and so many things to do. But here, yeah, it's still okay to walk here. But it's not the place where I would like to return every time. Honestly, when I recorded this video, I didn't notice how often I mentioned Venenha Park. But in Moscow, there are many parks like Tsaritsyn that I really like and I will show you in the next videos of mine. Soon we are going to leave Gorky Park and it's combined with Varabyova Gor. It's another famous park here in Moscow. And yeah, we are going there, we will walk around and also I think I will go to the top to show you the viewpoint. I showed it already in winter and now I want to see you to see how it would be in summer. And now I just really want to bring you the summer atmosphere of Moscow. Now we enter a garden called Neskuchny Sad. If I translate it into English, it will, call it, it will be equal to not a boring garden. And yeah, it looks so nice because take a look. It's city center, but it looks like in the forest. And also you can see me quite bright, but here it's a bit darker and oh, it's so nice.
by the way, behind me there is a cable cars and it's so nice, especially during the sunset. We already tried this with you when my friend Emma from Greece came to me to visit in winter. We drive to this side, so I'm not going to do this, this uh, like now. Maybe I will do this when it's sunny weather, but yeah, it's super nice. So my friends, now we are going up to the mountain to see the view from above. I really hoped it's gonna be not so dark because I a little bit came later here again, but still I hope the view will be amazing. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> So guys, I think this is the end of my video and I'm really happy I could make it to this time of day. The sunset was amazing and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's travel rush together.